How do you put a hook on the back of a Tesla? First, you have to remove the plastic thing, which is not easy. And not so. And then underneath, you basically have a hole. It opens a hole. So first, you pull it forward and then backwards, 180 degrees, and then it's stuck. And now it's very sturdy. And we're going to try to uh, pull this one. So we have the power and we have the electronic power in here. Let's see if it works. Already we figured out autopilot doesn't work when you use this. So that's a big disadvantage. Okay, see if we can have this two and a half thousand kilos. If we can pull it fine. And how much power will it cost? Marco has a Model S without one and he wants to put it in behind the after the fact. Okay, let's see if it works. Uh, perfect. Freak. Great. First time driving a Tesla with a big trailer and that's a huge one. Okay, we have a little symbol of a caravan now oh, on yeah. the display. Okay, let's try. See if it works. For the first time, the Model X. With a real impressive. Okay, horses, trailers, caravans, everything the Model X can do. And now we're going to see how much power it takes. This is a really big trailer and it drives so great with it. It's really a very good towing car. So we went up the hill with the, uh, the caravan and it's really tough. So officially I have 269 range, but the way it is now, it's 84 or 100. Because we're going up the hill. Up the hill, it's 925 watts per hour. Going downhill, it's, uh, down the hill, it's a lot better, 287. Cruise control is available. Yeah. Okay, autopilot not available. After 13 kilometers, 342. Great camera, great overview. After 20 kilometers, 405. Well, I have to say I need a Model X 